What's up guys, welcome to another video. Well today I want to talk about something that's been in the headlines for the past several days and that's in regards to broken PlayStation 4s. Now of course last week the PlayStation 4 sold extremely well. It sold over a million consoles in a single day um, and there have been reports about some of these consoles being broken. Um, you know I wanted to give you guys my take on this situation. Because, you know, I've been doing some research and it seems to me that a lot of the complaints that I've been reading up on or the issues with broken PS4s has been coming um, from gamers that have, been, that have been receiving them from places like Amazon.com and also I heard like one or two situations where uh, with Taco Bell, where there was a Taco Bell contest and they had their console, they want a console, they want a PlayStation 4 and they got a free PlayStation 4 and it was broken, or it broke on them. Um, i just give you guys a little bit of background. Some of you guys have asked, you know, what I do. I'm actually a, a warehouse manager um, for surgical products. And some of these surgical products are fragile. Uh, some of these products are not so fragile. Um, but I wanted to just bring to your attention what I experienced with my shipment. Fortunately for me, my PlayStation... PlayStation 4 uh, is working flawlessly. It's doing very, very well. Um, but, you know, I did notice with, you know, I did get mine at Amazon.com, but I noticed that uh, there were a lot of verified users, gamers, who had received their PlayStation 4s from Amazon, and uh, the, the console was broken, just, just like that, fortunately. Those of you guys that watched the video last week that I posted, uh, about my PlayStation 4 bundle. Don't know if you remember this, but when I opened the box, pretty much all of the packaging material was on. Now this is the exact box. I've got it here because I mean, I've got all the original packaging material. I'm going to show you exactly how this is packed for those of you guys that did not see um, me getting my, my PlayStation 4, okay? Because I wanted to show you guys um, the issue that I have here, okay? Open this up. And, you know, lots of packing material, which is great. But the problem was, and I really lucked out, all this air, all the air packs, which is great. But the problem was, pretty much all the air packs were on top. And this is basically what my bundle looked like. Had uh, Killzone Shadowfall on top of um, my, my PlayStation 4. I took the PlayStation 4 console out. But the problem was, there was nothing underneath. Now, those of you guys might be thinking, hey, Jimmy, what's the big deal? I mean, you know, the box wasn't messed up or, the, there, you know, there was no damage to the box. You know, there was no damage to the box. There was no outside, you know, recognizable wear or damage. You know, no problem, right? So I mentioned earlier, I do have a lot of experience with uh, shipping products. Uh, not just nationwide, but worldwide as well. Uh, you know, and it's just basic common sense. Even if you don't work in a warehouse, if you ship something out somewhat fragile, that it has decent packaging uh, or packaging material around your product to keep it safe. I was really surprised that, the, that my PS4 had no packaging material underneath it to keep it safe. Um, I'm not exactly sure. Perhaps there was something underneath and got shifted but it was pretty tight in that box to begin with and as I mentioned earlier some people might be thinking you know there's no damage on the box there's no damage on the PlayStation 4 but that doesn't necessarily mean just because you get a box uh, your PS4 and there's no outside damage just because there's no you know noticeable wear doesn't necessarily mean that your package while it was being shipped in transit uh, was handled correctly. I've got here an egg right here. Now obviously uh, the PS4 isn't as fragile as an egg but there are a lot of uh, fine small fragile components inside of the uh, PlayStation 4 uh, case, so the console case. When these boxes are being shipped out, they're not being just shipped out one at a time. There's hundreds, thousands of these consoles. They're being stacked on top of each other. And again, mine didn't come with any packing material underneath my console, but I was lucky. Luckily, nothing bad happened. But I, I got one or two comments from you guys saying on how your console from Amazon was bad. And on Amazon.com, there's a lot of gamers that got theirs 
um, and, and it was defective. You know, um, not too long ago I had the chance to watch a video from Re Review Tech USA and he would mentioned how a friend of his that works at Best Buy, a manager at a Best Buy store, had mentioned on how they had sold over 140 PlayStation 4s and not one of them had come back saying it was defective. Okay, but then I go to places like Amazon, Amazon.com, and there's just pages after pages of verified users saying that when it arrived, their PlayStation 4 is broken. So that's a question I post to you guys right now. Let me know in the section below, did Sony drop the ball, or did someone else drop the PS4? Um, let me know. I know some of the consoles have issues with the HDMI ports, but that's not the main uh, defective issue that I'm seeing. It seems to be the flashing blue light. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please smack that thumbs up button. I'll talk to you guys later.